Hi everyone. This is a walnut bowl that I had in my old shop and it was tucked away in the corner and I got it out when I moved and I thought maybe it was time to finish it. I'm putting a high gloss finish on it for my wife because she likes it that way and also I thought it would be a great time to try out my vacuum chuck and see what kind of a finish I could get for the foot. And now I'm going to install my vacuum chuck. The tube goes through the headstock and then the chuck is screwed on to the threads on the face of the lathe. Once that is accomplished, then I can turn on my compressor and it will hold the bowl to the front of the chuck. Here I have a foam ring that I cut out and it's placed in the bowl and it'll be placed over the vacuum chuck and that's where I get my seal so that the compressor can set the bowl to the chuck and hold it in place right there. Here I will bring up the tailstock and place it in the center of the foot on the bowl and that way I can ensure that the bowl turns true on the lathe. Once I get it where it's turning true, I can back the tailstock off and then turn off the foot. to the center of the bowl, taking off just very minute shavings. I don't want to get too aggressive here. I'm trying to shape the bowl and trying to make it cut so that I get a nice finish on the bowl. Plus, the better the finish is from using my bowl gouge here, the less sanding I have to do, and that just makes it easier in the long run. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, here I'm switching over to my round nose scraper and I've got a double bevel on it with a small burr and this tool can really do some fine cutting producing some very small shavings and producing a really quality finish on the bottom of the bowl before you do any sanding. So the sanding becomes minute. Here I'm just using 400 grit sandpaper to remove the tool marks that I made with the bowl gouge. Here I'm just using my round nose scraper to do a slight depression in the bottom of the bowl and clean up a few little places that I noticed when sanding that were a little deeper than the sandpaper was taking off with any kind of efficiency. Um, here I just raised up my tool rough. I've got a slight downward angle on the round nose scraper. Now that I have the foot of the bowl smooth, I'm going to add some oil, trying to blend it in to match the finish that I already have on the side of the bowl. So it might take a couple of coats to get it to where I think it should be, but the bowl feels really good now, so I'm really pleased so far. Here I'm removing the bowl from the vacuum chuck. I just want to check and see how it looks and how it feels. When I took the foam off the center of the bowl on the inside, there was a little bit of marring that took place from the pressure against the vacuum chuck. Now I'm going to reverse it back around, put it back on the vacuum chuck, and turn it with some oil and get the marring out. Alright, I cleaned up the inside of the bowl where the foam had marred the finish a little bit. Here, if you look at the bottom of the bowl, you can see the colors don't quite match. So I'm going to add a little bit more oil and see if I can bring the two colors in, blend them in together, and just see how it looks. Here I remove the bowl from the lathe one last time. When I pull out the foam in the center of the bowl and it has been marred a little bit again by the foam on the chuck, 
but a little bit of oil I wiped that out and it looks really good <laughs>